Did you know that Canva has an AI chatbot built in that's very similar to ChatGPT and it's actually really, really good. Most people don't even know that this exists, but I've been trying it out for weeks now and I'm honestly blown away at the results. Not only is it similar to ChatGPT, but a lot of times it can do the same things even better. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and then we're gonna push it to its limits to see exactly what it can do. So jumping right into Canva, you can access Canva AI just by clicking right here where it says Canva AI. Now most Canva users are familiar with this. However, most do not know that you can actually use this the same way you use ChatGPT, just like a chatbot. So for instance, you can say in here, how do I make the perfect plate of scrambled eggs? And click on submit and you'll get a response just like you would on any other chatbot. It's telling me exactly how to make a delicious plate of scrambled eggs. And of course you can ask any follow-ups like, does it matter if the eggs are white or brown? And then of course you'll get a response just like you would with any other chatbot. But of course, this isn't any other chatbot. This is Canva's chatbot. So let's use it to Canva's full potential and actually create something beautiful from this. So this time I'm going to say to it, create a one page document that shows me how to make the perfect scramble eggs and let's make it very visually beautiful. And then for that, I'll click on submit. And you see now we not only get the recipe, but they made it look really nice as well with a nice header and title, all the ingredients and instructions in separate sections as well. Now Canva also has an iPhone and Android app as well, which means that you can use it on the go just like you would with any other chatbot. So for instance, I can come in here and I'll click on AI. And I took a picture with my phone of a flower that I bought yesterday. And I'm going to ask it right here, tell me how to take care of this plant and I'll click on submit. And then it correctly identified what the plant is, told me exactly how to take care of it, and then asked me to let it know if I have any follow-up questions about taking care of it. And by the way, almost all the features I'm showing you in this video are available on the free Canva plan. However, there is a limitation on how often you can use them. So if we compare the free plan versus the cheapest paid plan, and we come down to the AI designs, you can see that you are limited in the number of messages that you can send every month. But on the paid plan, you do get 10X of messages. I've never hit that limit before. So I know I think the limit's very, very high. You also see that you have 150 credits per month for designs. You get a ton of credits per month for images. And the only thing you don't get on the free plan are the video creation. But it was enough to get you started. It's enough to test it out. And if you are happy with it, you can go ahead and try an entire month of Canva Pro for free with their one month trial. And after that, Canva Pro is only $15 a month, which is about $5 cheaper than ChatGPT. And even though it's cheaper, I would actually argue it does some things better than ChatGPT. And one of those things I would say is actually image generation. So if we come over here to Canva and ChatGPT, I'm gonna give them both the same prompt. I'm asking them to create images that you might find in like a fantasy novel. So first of all, Canva has produced results for me much, much faster than ChatGPT. You see it's still loading here. And yet Canva has produced for me one, two, three, four different images that I can choose between when I'm choosing which one I actually like. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of these. I basically asked it to create this exact scene. So here's one right here. I really like this one. We have a couple of other ones that look nice as well, but honestly, they're all really, really good and spot on for what I'm looking for. But I think I'll go ahead and choose this first one. Now returning back to ChatGBT, it's about halfway through, so we're not quite done with that one yet. Now, one thing you wanna do in Canva is once you find an image that you like, you definitely wanna click over here where it says upscale. That will then take it and make it better resolution. So let's give it a minute to do that. And you see it's already done and ChatGBT is almost done, but not done yet with the original image that it made. So let's go ahead and open up this one, take a closer look, and hopefully ChatGPT is now done. And there is our result. Let's go ahead and look at it. Now I'm very impressed with both of them. I will say that ChatGPT did make a lot more detailed photo here than Canva. However, there's one feature about Canva that really blows ChatGPT away. Because once you make something with ChatGPT, let's say you really like this image, but you just decide that you don't like this moon up here. 
if you ask ChatGPT to remove the moon, it will very often change other things in the photo as well. Like maybe it'll remove one of these dragons or move the dragon over here. It's not what you want. You only want to remove the moon, but ChatGPT just seems to have a hard time with that. But in Canva, that is incredibly easy to do. So we'll go ahead now and open up the editor once we have an image that we like. And let's say we wanna get rid of one of these dragons, like maybe this one right here. So what I'll click on is the magic eraser tool and I'll just select that dragon and click on erase and now it's gone. And there's a ton of other tools in here as well. So let's say we wanna take this dragon right here and we wanna move him maybe like up here. So in that case, I'm gonna use the tool called magic grab and I'll just click on the dragon. You see it automatically selects it for me or highlights it. And then once I have that selected and it's done its magic, now I can just freely move this around. You see it created the background behind it for me. So it doesn't leave a blank space and I'll just move it like up here. Another cool tool I really like in here, if we click on edit again, I'm going to show you how I use the magic edit button and I can select the area. So let's say I want some more stars here. I'll highlight this and I'll type in add stars. And you see, it gives you a few options here of which one you like, but I think this one looks the most like the other one. So I like that. And I'll go ahead now and click on done. And one other cool thing I wanna show you in here. So let's say you want more of this image. Like you wanna see more of this landscape. So what I'll do is I will shrink this down, make this smaller like this. Let's put the dragon back where he's supposed to be and back at scale. And you see now we have all this white space around the image. So what I can do is select the image and go ahead and click on magic expand. And I'll select whole page and click on expand. And what that will do is it will actually generate more image around it to fill the frame completely. And here are our four choices right here. All of them actually look really nice, but I'll go ahead and go with this one right here and click on done. So it really enables you to make the image exactly the way that you want without running into the frustrations that you often get with ChatGPT, where it just refuses to change just one little thing without changing a lot of other things in the image that you didn't want it to change. But Canva doesn't stop there because you can actually create stunning videos with it as well. But before I show you that, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on future videos that I make about the latest and coolest AI tools out there. So let's now jump back into Canva and I'll ask it to make a hyper-realistic video of a couple chatting on a train and we'll click on submit. Now this took a couple of minutes to generate, but this is the video right here. Let's go ahead and watch it. You know, that reminds me of what happened yesterday. Oh yeah? What happened? Now that's so wild to me that it made such an amazing video that's such high quality and the voices are even matching up with the lip movement, which is completely insane. And the reason that works so well is because Canva actually uses VO3, which is one of the most advanced video generators out there. Let me show you one other example. Here's another one I asked it to make. Let's go ahead and watch it. Now, the only downside about these is that they are very, very limited. You do not have access to this on the free plan. And even on the paid plan, you only get to make five videos per month, which is very, very low. But there's a reason for that. And it's because VO3 is very expensive and you really do get your money's worth with just those five videos, even though it may not feel that way. How about this? Did you know that Canva AI can actually create an entire website for you? So let's go ahead and try it. I'll say to it, create a website for me for my lawn care business called Paul's Perfect Lawns. And let's see what it makes. And here is my new lawn care website for my new business. And you see, this is totally interactive. I can click on any of these buttons and they all work. I can fill out this form. So this is a fully functioning website. Once I'm ready to actually use it, I can go ahead and open it up. And Canva actually gives you the option to publish the website right from Canva, you would have to buy a domain for it, or you can use Canva's domain, but you can literally have a website up in a matter of minutes with Canva AI now. Now you may have noticed that while it was creating that website, it was actually coding on the side of the page. And that's because, yep, Canva can code for you as well. So check this out. If we come in here, there is a button right here that says code for me. 
and you can put in exactly what you want or choose from one of these pre-made ones. So I'll go ahead and select that I wanted to create an interactive historical timeline for me and I'll click on submit. So here is the result. It's this ancient civilizations timeline. You see all these buttons, you can click on them and it shows you timelines for the Egyptians, for the Greek, Greeks for the Romans or all of them. So it's pretty cool. And you know, like I said before, I'm not a coder at all, but this is something that you're easily able to do because you can just tell it exactly what you want it to make. All right, let's shift gears a little bit and we'll talk about how you can use Canva AI to help you with your business. And we'll start with one of the most common examples. Let's say you just got out of a long meeting and you went ahead and recorded the entire thing and you have a transcript. So we can say to this is summarize this meeting transcript for me and make sure there are some nice visuals for it as well. And then what I'll do is just go ahead and paste in the transcript. Oops, there it is. And I'll click on submit. So you see it took the meeting notes and turned them into an entire presentation. So you can easily send this to anyone who missed a meeting. You can use this to refresh yourself before the next meeting. So pretty cool and even added these little graphics and charts for you as well. Now there is one big limitation of this and that's when you're actually chatting with the Canva AI, there's a limitation on the number of characters you can put in here. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's not as big as I would like. So if you have a long block of text, you're not gonna be able to put it in there. All right, let me show you one more example when it comes to business. Let's say you have a very boring looking spreadsheet, maybe like this one right here, where it tells you how much you're spending every single month. You know, it's black and white, not very exciting. Well, you can use Canva AI to give you some insights about this spreadsheet and even to improve it. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and come into Canva AI. I'll click on this plus icon and I will select that spreadsheet right here. And then I'll say to it, give me a breakdown of our spending and where I might be able to save some money. And you see it gave me a whole synopsis of everything in that spreadsheet analyzed for me. And it even pointed out for me potential problems with my spreadsheet. It says, hey, your May travel expenses are significantly higher than other months, which is true. It was much higher. I did that kind of as a test to see if it would pick up on it and it did. So this is a great way to grab a ton of data and have an AI actually be able to analyze all of it for you. And finally, one of the things I love about Canva is that if you have a design you love, you can turn it into anything else that you want very easily. So let's take another look at this scrambled eggs PDF that I had it make. And this time I asked it to turn that into a presentation, which it did right here, an entire presentation about perfect scrambled eggs. I then had it turn the presentation into an Instagram post, which it was able to do for me right here. And it even gave me a few different options so that I could use multiple of them. I have lots of content for several days. And then I had to turn that Instagram post into a YouTube thumbnail, which it was easily able to do as well. So there you go. Those are all the amazing things that I have found that you can do with Canva AI's chatbot. Now, if you want a more in-depth video on any of these tools, let me know that in the comments section down below. Then if you've been wondering what this magical voice to text AI tool that I've been using all video is about, make sure to click on this video right here because inside of that video, I cover my favorite AI tools that are completely free to use. And honestly, I cannot believe that some of these are free. So make sure to click on this video and I'll see you there in just one second.